Hello planner friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. Today I am bringing you a completely different video for you uh, as this is the first time I um, do a, la a lineup, a planner lineup. Um, many of you know that I have uh, started planning not very long ago, so I'm still a rookie. Um, actually full on in December, I believe, M might have been earlier. I will have to have a look at my, uh, um, my previous mini that was uh, given to my husband. But anyway, um, today I am going to go through the changes I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's not a lot of changes, it's one main change but I thought I would share it anyway also because um, it gives me an opportunity to watch back how I started um, with my videos. Um, so I'm just going to um, tell you where I am. Um, and I'm really here. I've put a new, um, well, it's, it's relatively new, um, sticky note from the uh, Archer and Olive uh, June box. Uh, this is what is going to become. It's going to my Cat Lady um, planner, a classic size, vertical. It's going to become my journaling. Um, I'm just going to put these guys aside. So these are my sticky notes. Um, this has been my, um, my catch-all really. Um, so, uh, my cat may do an appearance. No, she's walking away. So, um, she thinks her mother is crazy talking to herself. Um, so this is uh, my catch-all where I basically put anything and everything, uh, birthdays, um, to-do lists, things that um, happened or didn't happen and whatnot. So, because I wanted to venture into a big planner, which is going to be this one. I got this one in the, um, I believe the spring release or maybe, yes, the spring release. And this is part of the Indigo collection. This is a vertical. At the time I was still into vertical. And um, I'm going to set this one up as my catch-all. And my catch-all is going to become my journaling um, planner. And why is it going to become my journaling planner? Because I have been actually in the last few weeks I've been using, I just exchanged the, um, uh, this is the, the main cover of these mini happy notes, but I just flipped them. Um, I have created different layouts here to try out on a mini size, thinking that if I want to um, change later on into a mini, for example, for my social media, will I have enough space to write? So I created this layout, which is a dashboard layout. Then I created uh, one of my own uh, layouts, um, a la bujo, if you, if you want to call it that way. And then I went back with um, a horizontal. Well, no, went back. I, I created a horizontal here with the note section um, on the right spread at the bottom. And then I created, this is the late, the, this week, um, a horizontal, but I combined Saturday and Sunday into a weekend. So it gives me more space to write. Um, so I've been doing this and I have, I've gone back to um, a dashboard for like uh, next week. Uh, which is um, basically the last uh, two days, uh, three days of um, of June and into July, 
um, I'm unstopping it here and starting something else here. Now I've started doodling on a daily basis. So this is going to become, this is a the June um, box from um, Archer and Olive. I got acrylographs, so I started uh, playing around with it and the stencil. So um, I started do it doodling. So I think that this uh, happy note is going to become my uh, everyday doodles. Um, so that's that one. For um, my social media is going to stay the same, which is this um, beautiful cover actually. I, at the beginning I wasn't really into it, but now I adore it. I love the uh, gold polka dots. I will though, um, I'm planning on getting more discs. So I'm going to get um, gold discs. You can see the difference in, in gold color. These are the plastic. Although these metal ones are actually from Craftelier. So this is my, um, uh, my social media. This is for, I, I believe this is next week. I haven't, I haven't filled it in properly yet. Um, this is for next week. I do love this layout, the dashboard layout. And I was playing with the idea of getting a, a layout, um, a dashboard, a new dashboard planner. But I thought I still have four months. It doesn't really bother me. I could, of course, um, get a new planner that's that's not the point the point is to use what i have and i kept myself away from the new um memory keeping and this new oasis um a release one because i well the memory keeping is a completely different layout and i am planning to get uh, a memory uh, planning Actually, the one that I really like is the one from uh, Joanne. So when that is available, I will be purchasing. But I thought um, it would be silly to just discard these pages. Uh, at this stage in my planning, I have no idea what I'm, if, if I put it aside, whether I will use it. And I made, one of my goals for this year was to declutter my house. And it seems silly for me in my case, I'm not generalizing here, to discard this, to put it aside, to um, use it later, which that later is never going to come, and then having to recycle it into the, uh, uh, into the paper bin. Uh, for me that it's, you know, I love paper and I think I should care a bit more about it. So I'm going to, I only have four months left, um, which I have to redate this, I think. I'm not quite sure. No, I think I'm all right, but I will have, I will need uh, November and December because I started this in May. This is a six months um, dashboard, undated dashboard uh, layout um, planner, which came on the, uh, mystery box or mystery bag from uh, last year's um, Black Friday, I believe, or just before Christmas. I can't remember, but that's what I got. And I, I'm, I'm very happy about it. So I'm going to keep, to keep it. I might actually get either another extension, a dashboard extension, or I could just use I have here, for example, um, Happy Notes. This is from um, the San, um, Valentine's uh, Be Happy box. I think it was, uh, I can't remember something about love, obviously, but uh, I don't remember the name anymore. Um, so I could use either a couple of these dividers because I don't think I'm not sure I will be using the um, this as a um, as a um, 
not a planner, but to use it at all because I, I the, my cat lady is becoming my journaling. I could, of course, do this uh, in here. That's not a problem. I, I will have uh, just until December to finish my uh, cat lady. It's a 12 month um, um, planner. So I could use two of these, two of these dividers. Um, maybe not, I'm not sure. I could always change it around or I can make my own dividers and just use these sheets in order to create a dashboard layout to continue and finish the year in my um, social media planner. This is my social media planner. So this will stay the same and this is becoming my journaling so this is this week which is the last week i am already preparing here i have just pencil i have just used pencil uh, because i don't know how i want to decorate this at this moment this is from the dashboard layout that I try out as my catch-all for the month of June. Um, so I will be referencing the fact that this planner is going to become my journaling for every day from this week onwards. I will be decorating it. It's probably not going to be as decorated as before because I will need space to write. Um, so it will have uh, a lot less stickers than the other one. So that is that. I'm going to leave it open for um, my next video that will be decorating that. So I'm going to start with this one, um, which is going to become my catch-all. I will remove that a little later. So this has the rose gold um, plastic discs. They look more like gold, as I can see. Maybe you can pick up the rose gold, I'm not sure. There. And it reads, do all the things. Now I have gone ahead and placed two um, tab dividers from the uh, back to school um, release. Um, I, I believe there are three. I can't remember where I put the other one, but um, at the moment I'm not sure how I'm going to divide this, but what is for sure is that I will leave only until December because it's quite meaty, this um, um, this planner obviously because it's a lot bigger so it's the indigo um, line or collection and that is the um, currently it's quite clean I find it is quite clean line I'm not bothered at the moment with the indigo uh, accent here which is the dark side of the indigo uh, that is my monthly and it will start here so there is relatively I think yeah there are a couple of quotes here and there uh, it's probably one a month let's just see um, August here yeah one one quote a month. Uh, you can, you can't always be strong, but you can always be brave. Uh, that's for the second week. Uh, second week, uh, third week of July. So, on my next video, or yes, on my next video, I'm going to show you how I decorate this. It's going to be um, a first for me because. I'm not used to this, although I'm used to the layout, I am not used to this size. So it will be interesting how I uh, move forward. Um, I wanted a, uh, to move actually into a dashboard layout completely because I do love the dashboard layout, but I had already bought this planner. 
Again, buying a new planner wouldn't have been, have been a problem, but it's unnecessary and I am trying to do less unnecessary um, than, than before. Otherwise, there's no change really or my goals are not going to go anywhere. Um, this one came out quite cleanly. The other one not so much, but um, I do love this line. I did not particularly warm to the sticker book. I don't know why I thought when I saw all the flip throughs and um, the uh, uh, subsequent decorations with it, I, I was hooked. And then when it came, I think I decorated the first, um, uh, which is actually not here. It's uh, because I removed uh, a few of the months. Um, I found it quite difficult to work with those stickers. But anyway, um, hopefully it's, just, it's different this time. So as I uh, mentioned, this is my catch-all. My cat lady is becoming my journaling and my dashboard uh, undated it's my uh, social media and the little one for doodling so um, I still have um, a few of the planners not totally planners but um, this one I use it mainly to keep track of uh, habit trackers um, and I use a lot this paper um, to just to create um, bucket lists and that, those kind of things. But I actually started journaling journaling here. Then I thought I'm going to journal here, see how that goes. But my mini is quite mini. This is more like on the go for your handbag. Uh, than actually, I, I'm, I'm sure that there are people that find this enough for their day-to-day uh, -day planning, weekly planning, I'm sure they do. It's fantastic if they do. Uh, but for me, I think for journaling, especially for journaling, it, it, it was becoming, I don't know, I feel like I want to pour a little bit more out and um, I'm thinking of uh, going to a bigger size for it, so the layout is not very practical of the cat lady as it is a vertical, but I am going to use it. And um, this again is for projects, filling uh, those uh, fill paper for projects that can go here or even here. I do have a big, I'm going to show you. Where did I put it? I knew I put it here somewhere. Here it is, right in front of my nose. Um, which, oh, here is the other one. Which I use for my uh, recipes. The thing is that for my bookshelves in the kitchen, and for the size of uh, other recipe books that I have, proper res not proper recipe books, but recipe books, it's a classic size. So I'm going to move the, um, um, the recipe book into a classic size and I'm going to use this as project paper. And I've already, I'm, I'm giving you a sneak peek, um, created a bucket list and a goals um, for summer. I'll show you that uh, later on over on Instagram. Because it's big size uh, filler paper, uh, well, it's a happy note, but that can easily be incorporated here without breaking much the, um, the size of the layout, although it doesn't really matter. I can put any size in here and it will fit. Um, it will not be a problem. So. I will do that, but before I leave um, this video, it's a very short video, um, I will be writing my name. 
Now, I decided, I cannot remember where I put the piece of paper, it's here somewhere. I will, I will find it and then I'll come back. So I'm back. Um, papers are flying everywhere. Um, I tried already with my, uh, my brush pens. So this is the, what's it called again? Um, Future Color. I am not sure whose brand this is. Um, I will find out and then put it in the description box. Uh, but I got this at um, Stationery Pal. And they're, they're actually quite nice. And it's this blue, um, which is called blue black because the other blues are completely different i have a swatch here and it will this too it will not really go with it and then i decided to check my other blues so this is my pentel our pentel um, brush sign pen in blue black this one and this is my Tombow and this is my mild line liner so I think I could use either but I'm going to go for this one for the mild liner I love the mild liner the, the way uh, it goes down onto the paper is lovely so I'm going to do this very slowly um but it's going to show fast in there i'm actually going to take the page off so my wrists my wrist is uh, flat onto the surface There you go. There is there is a name in there now. Um, hello, this big happy planner belongs to Gian. Planner Happy Life 2021-2022. This is an 18-month planner. So um, I'm just going to put this back into my planner now this thing is very heavy so I will highly likely going to leave my planner up here and come back every evening um, to um, to write in although as I said earlier what I'm going to do, this is why I have, unfortunately, um, my, um, these discs are from Craftelier, um, which are metal discs and they are 35 millimeter, nine pieces only. Um, so it does not work for this planner. Um, what I'm going to do is buy another set and I am going to December. So from, I haven't shown you the, uh, the actual um, dividers. So I'm going to do that now and explain to you what I'm, what I'm going to do. Uh, so I am going to um, get July to December. I'm going to leave, sorry, July to December in the planner. Laugh, laugh more, laugh, laugh more, worry less. Sorry, I do have an accent. 
kind heart, brave soul, fierce mind. I'm going to leave July to December in here on these discs and January to December of next year, I'm going to move them into these nine um, rings. Uh, all of your dreams are possible. I love this divider. Um, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Start each day with a grateful heart. And that's also one of the things I want to have enough space for writing more things in my planner. That doesn't necessarily have to be like a sentence because sometimes you want to if I write a sentence, it's fine. But if I f find that I want to write more than a sentence, that I do have the space for it. Always look on the positive side. Life is a journey, not a destination. I love that because it actually looks like blue jeans. It's denim fabric. And here we have a check with a quote, April, May, dreams are plans in the making. And then we have June next year, focus on today. And then we have a sort of, I wouldn't call it polka dots, but a dotty pattern. Uh, another dotty pattern, uh, trust the universe. Certainly, a line pattern, I love it. Um, happiness is an inside job and we're all working on it. And it has um, um, let me see whether you can get it. Yeah. Rose gold foil. And then we have November, be present. And December, it's absolutely gorgeous. There is, it's, um, it's funny because the green and the yellow, it speaks up by the camera on the phone, but in real life, when you look at it, it does not, it's just rose gold. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So uh, I'm going to start by pulling these guys. Okay, guys. So um, this is my um, um, the rest of uh, the planner, which is the year 2022. Uh, because I have only nine discs um, from the Craftily uh, metal discs, I have left two um, empty ones um, only to give it a bit of balance um, to this. And I'm just going to put this aside. And after December, I will be grabbing this. Um, so this stays with my undated. I do have two undated vertical planners. Um, so after December, I will see um, what happens, whether I move on to um, journaling somewhere else or a different layout. I do have the uh, June uh, from Archer and Olive, I got a, um, a notebook. So I don't know whether I will move uh, into that yet. Um, it's a long time since I tried uh, Bujo in, um, in that type of uh, notebook. Um, I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm daunting. Or it's daunting for me to, to start that since I'm, I'm pretty much into this Happy Planner layout. But I, I love the quality of it and I probably uh, will eventually, but that's an option for uh, next year. And I will also see what comes out 
in terms of um, uh, new releases from the Happy Planner. What I found, um, which I'm not really a Disney person, but I do love the products they are coming up with. The only thing that I, um, I would have gone for one of the, uh, the Disney's um, uh, newer planners for next year. The thing is that it's a vertical layout and I want to try other layouts if they had come up with a vertical, which they did. Both of them are vertical. One of them is a line vertical. Um, it would have been much easier to, to choose uh, for me if it had been one of them a dashboard or an, an even a horizontal because I, uh, I've only tried horizontals here because I have created it myself. And even though there are um, some very good um, discounts at the moment um, for, for the minis, um, especially the minis, um, I'm not so sure. I quite like this. This will be enough for me on the go. And um, I would prefer this, this size. And I'm trying now this and I think I'm going to fall in love with this size. So let's see how this pans out. But this goes on the side and this is going to be my um, my planner for the year, my catch-on for the year. What I'm going to do, actually, I don't want this video to be too long, but um, this is going to be my weekly. So I'm going to place this here. I'm going to find a sticker that says this week. So I can place it here and here I'm going to do I'm not sure I will probably do extras or something else I don't know and I'm going to just get some paper out of here with I think I already removed it. Yeah. Um, probably take a bit more paper because it's quite empty. For projects or um, something else. I will also get some. Are they in here? Yeah, these are my dailies. So and these are project um, which I should actually be moving into here because they are supposed to be for summer. Um, this is for the garden. This is uh, probably both for the garden. See whether I did another one in a different color. Because you can coordinate this with different colors for different type of projects. No, it seems like it's only these two. So... Um, so this is going to be my dailies. This is this other one. So I'm going to put my dailies at the front. Fill a paper projects at the back. And can I put this whole thing here? No. So only a few sheets at a time. So I have my projects at the back and I think, hey babe, I'm going to use the last one um, to separate my projects.
Okay, so I have projects. I will have dailies here. And my um, summer bucket lists, I think. I don't know whether I should put them in the front. Um, I should probably do it at the front because they're for summer. So, summer bucket list, uh, bucket list, and summer goals. If you would like to know more about my summer bucket list and goals. Check out my Instagram. I'll put a link on my description box, um, so you can have a go um, go there and uh, check it out and see what I say about it. Um, so these will start. Oh, it bled through a bit. Never mind. Um, so this will start with, unfortunately, my. Uh, Currently is here. I'm still toying with the idea whether I should do the currently before the month or after the month is up. Because the thing is that if I jot down ideas that should take place in July and then they don't happen, um, I don't like the feeling. So if I actually go about my goals in July, I can come back uh, to the currently and then it gives you a preview of what's going to happen in July as a viewer. So that is my lineup guys. Um, just put this aside. So it has become quite thinner and actually more portable, although it's a huge um, I think it's, does it still fit in my, um, yes it does. So I will be able to carry it uh, downstairs and uh, play with it. Um, this is my catch-all, my journaling, my um, social media, I'm, uh, and my um, on the go, but it's really my doodling. Um, we, we planner or not planner, uh, happy notes. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it this far, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate, um, all of you who actually give me a little bit of your time to, uh, see me doing my planning, uh, and talking about things related to my planners, to um, stationery, etc. I do do appreciate that. Thank you again for watching and I will be uploading um, another video very soon on uh, decorating my cattle. And if you would like to see my future videos, um, consider subscribing. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I will catch you soon. Happy planning. Bye.